hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel my name is vanessa and if this is your first time seeing this face i hope you do not make it your last kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so you'll be informed when next i post a video so today we're going to be talking about skincare um specifically we're going to be discussing body lotions i feel like it's been a while since i gave you guys a skincare video but today we're going to be talking about skincare and we're going to be talking about body lotions i think i already said that before but that's what we're going to be talking about today i'm going to be reviewing about i'm going to be reviewing three body lotions that i've tried and i'm going to be dropping my recommendations and also my honest review on these skincare products so if this is something that you're interested in i do hope that you stay tuned and watch the video to the end so um, without further ado, because I don't like to spend so much time on my intro, without further ado, I'm just going to go straight in and start reviewing. Now, the first product I'm reviewing is the Nivea Body Lotion. Now, I feel like, not I feel like, well, the Nivea brand is a very common brand. It's a very popular brand. It is a household name. Everybody, I mean, if you're not living under a rock, you know what Nivea is or you know the brand called Nivea. They have several products. And I actually consider myself to be a Nivea fan because I've used a lot of their products which is what also enticed me and gave me the confidence to try out the body lotion that I'll be reviewing today. Now the body lotion I'm reviewing is the Nivea. Um, this is the Nivea Radiance and Beauty Even Glow Lotion. So it says that it's infused with 95% pure vitamin C. It has pearl extract, turmeric and SPF 15 and um, it also promises to visibly make your skin radiant in two weeks and it is for all skin types now this bottle is about 400 ml so that's a lot of products for you and i got this product i mean i feel like prices are in nigeria prices are definitely you know, something that is stable because it's like you know everybody like prices just change so i got this product for about i don't know somewhere within four thousand five thousand naira, and I, i've used it for about i don't know maybe two three months so i'm sure that it's not the same thing anymore but basically this is um what the bottle looks like in terms of the lotion in terms of the consistency it is um let me just show you what it looks like so it says not really you can see it's, it's runny but it's not so runny so it means that it's able to absorb into your skin better now i'm also going to go further and i'm going to review the ingredients that it has that will make it to be like this so yeah this is what it looks like and it absorbs into the skin easily it also has a shine to it that makes it good for like it, it means that it has a good moisturizing property in it so in terms of the scent it has a very subtle scent it's not overpowering so i feel like if you're someone that likes to you know set the base of their fragrance through their lotion you know there are people that layer fragrance so if you like to start layering your fragrance from your body lotion i think that this would be good for you because i like the scent i feel like the scent can work in with a number of fragrances and it's not overpowering so you can still smell that you have nice lotion on but it will not overpower the fragrance that you decide to wear at the end of the day but one of the things that really sold me on this product is the fact that it promises that it has up to 95 percent pure vitamin c which is a lot 95 percent is a lot and it says that because it has the 95 percent pure vitamin c it means that it's supposed to visibly tone your skin within two weeks i think yeah within th two weeks now i've used this product for about i've used it for nothing less than two months and i don't really think so i don't really think that it would tone your skin like it would bleach your skin i just think that it would make you to have an even complexion at the end of the day so i'm not really one for bleaching skins or promoting bleaching substances so if you are looking to just have like even tone visibly even tone i would say that this is a nice to have also because it contains vitamin c we know that vitamin c is um it's an antioxidant that helps to protect your skin against free radicals in the environment so because it contains 95 percent vitamin c it means that it would actually protect your skin protect your body from being inflamed by the free radicals in the environment so i i think that yes 
that's a nice to have the pearl extracts will help to promote balance in the skin and i mean ph balance in the skin and also it will help in the regeneration of new cells which is what we want if you're looking for healthy skin you know that your skin needs to regenerate so that it keeps producing new skin which is what will make your skin look new like a newborn baby now it also claims to contain spf 10 um spf is something that i really like in my skincare products whether it be in my makeup whether it be in my lotion i don't know anything i just like anything that contains spf although the spf quality is low this is it just contains spf 10 I like that producers actually still consider adding spf to their products because uh, i think that um it's better than nothing you know now what makes me know that it contains spf 10 is because of the ingredients written in the bottle which i will be discussing in a minute so the first one it has i'm just going to read out because um i don't want to murder any name now the first product that it says it has is the c12 to c15 alkyl benzonate so this is an emollient and it's a texture enhancing agent which helps the cream to disperse better into your body you see when i showed you that see there's nothing on my hand again it's because it has this that makes it possible for you to disperse the product into your body and then the ability also for your body to actually absorb the products that you've put on it so it is because of the c12 um acyl benzonate that it contains but because this has been added it makes the product have a silky skin like finish which is what you get when you use this product now the second ingredient that it has is alcohol denat i feel like this is a this can be a controversial ingredient because when i saw that it had alcohol i was like mm, i mean i'm not really sure because I don't like skincare products that contain i don't like anything that contains alcohol especially skincare and my hair products i don't like when they contain alcohol because as we all know alcohol is drying so if you're someone like me that has dry skin or even if you don't have dry skin really i think that everybody should stay away from alcohol but now alcohol denat is not um is not a rubbing alcohol type it also helps the skin to absorb the products better um now this is a controversial ingredient i'm not even going to lie because when i did my research on it a lot of skincare experts will tell you to stay away from products that have alcohol in it because it's a product it's, a, it's an ingredient that doesn't really do anything in particular now the way that alcohol in works is that it dries off the area where you want to apply the product on so if i'm applying alcohol in to my skin now Alcohol denat will cleanse off any oil I have on my skin so that the oil that is contained in the product can penetrate my skin further. I think that's the best way to explain it. So the third property contained in this cream is Botil. This is such a long name. I think I'm just going to leave it on the screen because I don't want to murder it. But Botil something something is also known as Avobenzone and it is used in the formulation of sun protection. So you know remember that i said that it contains spf 10 it means that um it needs to have skincare pro it needs to have sunscreen properties in it and this avobenzone is a sunscreen property that is usually found in chemical sunscreen so of course if you know the difference between physical and chemical sunscreens you know that physical sunscreens leave a white cast while chemical sunscreens typically do not leave a white cast i have a sunscreen video um, I'm going to link it either in the description box or in the screen so that you can check out the video on sunscreens. A property that will usually be found in sun, in chemical sunscreens will be this avobenzone which is a property that protects the skin against UV rays and of course you know that UVA, UVA rays are terrible, they are bad because they can cause mutation and which will eventually lead to skin cancer. So you always want to protect your skin against the sun which is what this lotion promises you to do now spf 10 is a very minimal quantity so make sure that you're going in with additional sunscreen while you're using this especially it says that it contains 95 percent pure vitamin c so that's already a lot and vitamin c can also make your skin to be susceptible to sun damage so make sure that you're using sunscreen and you're staying away from the sun as much as possible when you're using this lotion now all around i like this lotion but in the bottle here it says that it is for all skin types now i have dry skin right if you're someone that has normal to oily skin this product might work for you but if you have dry skin uh i'm not really sure i cannot give you the recommendation that it would work for you because when i use this 
I didn't really feel like my skin was moisturized. Like, yes, it's nice that I would feel like my skin is moisturized, but I also want my skin to be visibly moisturized. So feeling moisturized is one thing, but visibly moisturizing is another thing. And this does not give me that. I noticed that when I was using this, I needed to go in with body oils again to kind of coat my skin and to help the products last longer on my skin. So if you're someone that has dry skin, I think you should look out for that. Um, so yeah, if now the second body lotion I'll be reviewing is the Vaseline body lotion. Of course, Vaseline is also a common brand. It's also a popular brand. Everybody knows Vaseline. So Vaseline, I kind of have like a sentimental attachment to Vaseline products because I find that is very moisturizing and Vaseline has never failed me. So you can never go wrong with Vaseline. So of course I have to try my hands on the Vaseline lotion. And the one I'm going to be reviewing today is this one. I think that this is a popular product. Everybody, like there's so many reviews of this product on the internet. I, I just knew that I had to try it so I can give you guys my honest review on it. Now this is the Vaseline um, Healthy Even Tone. This one contains vitamin B3 and SPF 10. Again, sticking with my SPF love. This contains SPF and it promises you for it's a moisturization and um, everyday sun protection. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a yellow, in, a, in an orange pack. Um, I got this maybe about a month ago and I got it for about, I think about 4,000 to 5,000 naira. That's what the mark was. So in terms of, this is what the bottle looks like. It contains 400 ml, so same as the Nivea. Yeah, the Nivea is also 400 ml and this is also for 400 ml. So it is still a lot of products for your money. Now in terms of, this is what the cap looks like. Um, so you can see that's what the consistency looks like. I'm just going to rub it into my hands. It actually promises you 48 hour moisturization. So of course 48 hours is a long time and I really think that it lives up to that promise. Especially for me that I have dry skin. So I remember I'd said that I don't like it when my products are dressed moisturized and I like it to be visibly moisturized. and. I get that with the Vaseline lotion like I've applied it and my skin looks visibly moisturized I when I apply it on my legs I don't need to go in with additional body oil or anything especially in this heat like nobody wants to be applying multiple products on their skin right so I just want to be able to apply something and get out of the house and I think that I really achieve it with the Vaseline body lotion now in terms of the scent I think that the scent is also very subtle it's not overpowering it doesn't smell like chemical or anything I mean if you're familiar with Vaseline you know that their products are they have a mild scent to it and this one also has a mild scent to it so again if you're someone that likes to layer on their fragrances I think this will also work for you so the product actually absorbs into your skin fast but it also does not have a sticky feeling nor does it feel greasy it just feels like your skin is moisturized it just feels like your skin is silky and supple and smooth it doesn't feel like you've applied granite oil or something on your body you know which is what we're all going for um so yeah i would really recommend this product for you now i'm going to go over to the list of ingredients that it had so isopropyl myristate is a is a moisturizing property that is being added to skincare and cosmetic products generally what isopropyl myristate does is that it helps your skin be able to absorb the products better so typically what it is is that it's a skin penetration enhancer so you remember when i said that when i applied it it sank into my skin my skin and it doesn't leave my skin feeling like i applied granite oil on my skin it's because of properties such as this moving on to the second ingredients that this has it contains glycerin if you are someone that reads ingredient lists you know that glycerin is popular glycerin like it's popular in ingredients and for good reason now glycerin is also known as glycerol it is a natural compound that is derived from vegetable oil glycerin is a humectant and basically what humectants are is that when you apply them into your skin they help to cover your skin and it also helps to trap moisture from within the inner layer of your skin and it traps it on the outer layer of your skin which helps your skin to look visibly moisturized oh the third product that i'm discussing is niacinamide now niacinamide is one of my favorite properties in a skincare um, product now niacinamide is a form of vitamin b3 and vitamin b3 is a water soluble vitamin that helps your skin to look visibly um, moisturized. And, I mean the fact that it contains niacinamide is really a seller for me so it means that the claim that it has vitamin b3 and spf 10 is 
those are things that really sell me off so now the consistency is very good as i've shown before it easily absorbs into the skin if you're someone that has dry skin like me um i think that you would really benefit from this product in fact it says here on the bottle on the bottle that it is made for normal to dry skin so i have dry skin and you really enjoy this product if you also have dry skin like i do so yeah i would totally recommend this product now the other product i'm going to be recommending is medic medics 5.5 somewhere on the screen um i don't have the bottle of this because i used it for a while and i did not go ahead to repurchase the product so i'm just going to be giving my review of the products now this product is a very popular product on nigerian youtube and also on nigerian tiktok i've been seeing the bottle for a while and everybody has been raving about the products now i really like the bottle of the product i feel like the people that designed the products designed the bottle of the products were really intentional that the bottle would actually convey what is contained in the lotion i don't know if that makes any sense so the lotion is contains um vitamin c and it's also infused with turmeric so you know that these i mean <laughs> vitamin c is really sold to us in orange bottles and also turmeric the color of turmeric is like orange to yellow so this is also what the bottle tries to sell to us now i really like the packaging i feel like the bottle is very sleek and a very modern looking so the lotion promises that it contains anti-aging properties and will aid in replenishing your skin the lotion is also enriched with emollients and also occlusives that help the lotion to stay longer on your skin and will also promote the moisturizing effects of the lotion so i don't really have so much to say about the the scent of the product because i feel like again the scent is not overpowering just like the other two um, products that i reviewed the scent is not overpowering at all it is just um, normal again it's i like the scent not too overpowering just there basic it's not doing too much so i'm just going to go straight to the ingredients list and for all of the products that i have reviewed here it's important to state that all, all of them start with aqua which is water i'm going to give you a top tip if you're buying skincare products or, or cosmetic products in general um you should really i should really discourage you from buying products that start with alcohol because if a product starts with alcohol if you check the ingredients list and the first thing you're seeing is alcohol it means that that product is potentially going to strip your skin and potentially going to dry your skin especially if you have dry skin um, like I do so any product that has water base means that it's starting with aqua which is what all of these moisturizers I've noted here to begin with so you want to stay away from anything that contains alcohol because it means that the base of the product is alcohol but if it contains aqua it means that the base is water which is something that you want to look forward to because you don't want to be stripping your skin you want to be adding moisture into your skin so it's very important that you check your ingredients list and ensure that everything is starting with water now for the medics 55 i'm going to start with the i mean water is obviously the base but i'm going to move on to other ingredients that are contained in the product number one is cetyl alcohol now remember when i mentioned that in this nivea cream that it also contains alcohol in that cetyl alcohol is not like that cetyl alcohol is um, a much milder form of alcohol in fact it's not really an alcohol the other alcohols that you see added to products are usually like rubbing alcohol but this one is like fatty alcohol in fact it is 95 percent fat and it's derived from vegetables and it's also derived from coconut oil so again i'd say that most people when they see alcohol in products they usually run away but cetyl alcohol is like a safe alcohol to be added to your products especially to moisturizers because it contains fatty oils that will help in making your skin look Plump. so it would help you with hydrating it would help you with softening it would help you with conditioning so another property that the medics 55 contains is called dimeticon now dimeticon also like the cetyl alcohol also helps in the slip and glide of products so it means that you want your product to basically absorb into your skin better but you also want it to be easy to spread the products all over your skin so it's not like when you are applying a product for instance on your palm or on your hand or wherever and you know that you're spending extra time to work the product into your skin but when it contains sufficient amount of um, dimeticon for instance it means that it's easy to spread the lotion onto your skin and also for that lotion to be easily penetrated into the skin now another thing that it contains is a fancy name which is um booty 
I'm going to put the name on the screen here because I'm not even about to murder the name but this lotion also contains shea butter because this is a fancy name for shea butter. Shea butter is probably a, the most hyped up ingredient in the cosmetic industry because everybody has been raving about shea butter. If you've not been living under a rock I believe that you know what shea butter is. Shea butter has been regarded as a magic moisturizer and also as an emollient so it means that it actually has a lot of moisturizing properties in it which is also contained in this lotion. Now the Medix 55 is touted to contain vitamin C but I, I'm not sure to what levels or to what extent it contains vitamin C but it's largely touted to contain vitamin C and also to contain turmeric um, which might lead people to think that it would be a bleaching agent or that it would help you to look lighter or fairer or whatever it is you want to refer to it as but in my experience this does this did not really do anything for me in terms of toning which is why I did not go back to purchase it so in my experience using Medix 55 again I don't know if it's because of my dry skin but I, f I noticed that I had to go in a lot with body oil because I wanted to sufficiently moisturize my skin so if you have dry skin I really think it's something that you should look out for and maybe going with body oils like I do or like I now as a bonus I'm going to be showing you guys the body oil that I use and the one I use is none other than this one this is um the Neutrogena body oil um light sesame formula I'm not really sure that I like the smell of this but it's what I have and I use it um let me know if you guys want to see a review on body oils so that I can make that video for you guys but essentially that's all that I have for the video um of course in all of this that I've recommended my top pick would be the Vaseline healthy even tone and maybe because it's good for my dry skin but I really like everything about this and I like the fact that I apply it and I don't need to go in with additional body oil I apply it and it smells really nice and it just makes my skin feel very moisturized so if you're in the market for a top moisturizer you can try all of these other ones I've mentioned if you have normal to um, normal to oily skin you can try it but if you have dry skin like I do which is so weird that I have dry skin on my body because I have oily skin on my face but I mean sometimes skincare can be like that so yeah that brings me to the end of this video I don't think that I want to ramble anymore I really hope that you guys were able to get information from this video I hope that I was able to give like an in-depth review of the product and if you're able to get value out of this video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that we can grow and, uh, and also turn on post notification buttons and also like this video so that it gets shared to lots of people who like the content of this video so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one